Ah, this truly is a lovely base location. Oh no, oh no, it's got a big crack in it now. Uh-oh, oh, just put that back, put that back where it was. Yep, yeah. oh, still not straight, okay. Oh dear. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft with me, Zedaf. And I am running through the fully dug out first layer of my massive crevasse. And last episode, yes, we made the jump powered furnace here behind me. It's now fit it very nicely into the thing, but you can really get a good scale of this thing now. And in fact, if we fly up into the sky, you'll see this thing is looking oh so crackalicious. It is lovely. <laughs> but remember, this is just the first layer. We are going deeper than this. Eventually, we're going to have three layers. So this is nine blocks tall. This is two at the moment. We're going to go down seven more blocks, and then we're going to go in again and do another layer for one, two, and three layers of base. And we might even get to a couple of those today because I want to finally move into this place. I've been living in this poopy, poopy little cave. I'm so sorry, cave, but you are poopy, you have to admit. Um, I don't even know where this goes. No, it, it does definitely dead end, but you know, I've had a, a few problems, creeper explosion in here before as well. It's not the safest place. Although I keep leaving the door open, no wonder. No wonder creepers keep getting in. But we finally need to move out of here and move into our crack. <sighs> well, this seems to be how I'm always moving my star. <laughs> My stuff. Sorry about that. Yes, I always do this apparently every season when I'm moving my base. I fill my inventory with something, so I've only got one space left. Stand on the pile of stuff and hold Q until I've spewed up everything and I transport it to wherever I'm taking it next. And as long as I'm under the five minute timer, nothing despawns. However, I wouldn't recommend doing this with what? Two and a half double chests of stuff. It's it's not a good thing. And every season I still seem to do a similar sort of thing. Now, I've got these new chests here. Yes, I'm in a slightly less poopy cave, but a cave nonetheless. Um, we're gonna transfer this over to here, hopefully in a neater way. And after having a little tidy, it got me in the digging mood yet again. I have got one, a two, and a three layers of ravine, at least in the little tip, don't look that way yet. Um, all dug out, and it's perfect! Oh my goodness, I did it. <laughs> you can see though, my hole has got holes! What? You can't have a hole in a hole, that's like a paradox, or something like that, I'm not entirely sure. So we need to, this is actually my cave which we've got to uh, repair. The walls of just a little bit, but hey, at least we've got easier access now. Ugh, but this is such a mess looking. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got some smooth stone. I'm gonna repair all this. It's way worse than I thought. I don't even know where to begin. There, that's a bit smoother. Nice blank canvas. Obviously we're gonna decorate the whole thing at some point to look a little bit prettier. But now we have our full depth and we know exactly how deep it goes. You'll see, ha, ha, hug the wall, hug the wall. We are in need of some walkways because this is not sufficient. I am butt clenching my way round here. Oh, this is a little bit better. Um, I thought this bit through made that a little bit thicker, but yeah, every level we want to have some kind of little wooden pathways going round. And you know what? I've been using jungle and stuff here. Hi ladder! Ah! Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I, I meant to come down here. Uh, by the way, I kept a couple of little hole access to these caves and back to my base as well, just for easy easiness. My hole can have mini holes, just can't have big holes in it, but um, yeah, I was thinking for the wooden walkways, uh, a nice dark oak would probably uh, look really good against all the stone and everything. And I haven't used dark oak for a very, very long time. The trouble is, I have no dark oak saplings. Yeah, none at all. Uh, jungle, birch and oak is all the wood that I have. And you know what? I think it's time we finally got rid of our final three locks as well, because I got money. I got some money. Look at that. One, two, three. Perfect. That is what we need to sacrifice, except I don't want to sacrifice this in lava. I think we want to do something a bit special for these final three. We're finally going to have our full hot bar back for the first time this season. So why not sacrifice it in a little bit more of a special way? It's the sapling man. Oh, hey, hi. <laughs> you Hello. Have, you have the saplings I require, right? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, <laughs> I do. Please, be, please be, be, be very careful. I am one of the last alive people in Demise. Look at you. Yes. How yes. did you manage this? <laughs> greatness. Greatness. Uh, being great at the game. Oh, tw 13 years of experience. Maybe 14 years, 13 years of experience. Uh, 13 years unlucky for some, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 whenever I log out, I plant... 
trees. I plant a bunch of trees, and if I come back and I have a forest in my front yard, I know somebody's been here. Oh. Somebody's been trapping. The trees Uh are your friends. As we go, we're going to be very careful. Okay. We're going to watch where we step. We're going to not open any chests. Okay. All right. Uh, even if the buckle isn't red, even if it's not a trap trap chest, we're going to just tiptoe our way through. Moss carpet. Careful. Could be redstone ore underneath. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. You see, you see how I live? You, uh, you live life in fear. Constant yes. agony. Come check this out. Want to see something some jerk did to me? I don't know if it's going to hurt me or not. No. Watch What's this. this. Holy mackerel. That's a terrifying hull. I don't I don't like being near here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once the furnace shuts off, it should be fine. Now I'm going to I'm looking behind the chest. I'm going to open this one. I think the saplings are in here. Okay. And sure enough, they are. You grab them, you gently pass them to me. I only need what is it? Four? With with your cleverness, would you mind taking a quick just just a quick look around to see if you see anything that could be is that this... you'd be like, ooh, I'd trap that. <laughs> is <laughs> is this the equivalent of making me turn your car on in case the mafia have <laughs> like... <laughs> or taste my wine? You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. Um, well, that parrot looks suspicious. Um, I put him there. Okay, you put him there. Okay, that's good. Okay, I mean, you know what? You can maybe watch out button. for these moss carpets here, but there, you can maybe look at inspect something for me. I didn't put that bee there. It's a dirty bee. Shall I go up and yeah. and, and jostle it? Yeah. Oh, do it's... you know? Do you know what that could do or how that got there? I have no. It must have just flown in through a window. You think so? You left your window open, maybe. Your I doors... do have my. My windows are kind of open. Like, if I can fit through... Yeah? Yeah. A bee it, ima- surely could. Imagine if I was a bee. Ha. Okay. It, and I can't. Right. Oh! Okay. Uh, uh, I'm actually stuck. Okay, no, it's good. Okay. For immersion, don't ever do that again. <laughs> Sorry, did I just phase through the... <laughs> <laughs> These are solid windows you can't get through there. Okay. Yeah! He's not budging. Yeah! Hey, you pull, I'll push. Okay. Ha. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Yeah. Get oh, out that bait! Oh, that it broke. Yeah. Ha. Okay. Okay. I got him. Okay. Exterminator. All right. Yeah. Out you come, Mister. You did it. Yeah, B. Oh, B. Dubs. I must warn you. You've got a lot of buttons on your house. Yes. Is that? Are you not worried about them potentially having badness behind them? It's worth the sacrifice. Okay. It's worth it. If it kills me, I- I'll say it's it's worth it. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which... Um, okay. Not killing you! Okay. No, 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 okay. no, 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 All right, here, here, okay. Here. I would oh. like... Do you, do you know my... Do you know my, my issue? No. I... I... I have been nerfed. I have been handcuffed since the beginning of the season. I, I had my hot bar slots locked. And oh no! Yeah, yeah, it happened. You know, you don't want to see it, but when it does, can't, oh, can't do no. anything about it. And I've I've got three three hot bar slots left that are locked now, and okay, I need them gone. And I I can finally do it. I can finally pay pay the the sacrifice and get rid of them. And I thought, seeing as you've given me these saplings, it would be an honor if if you could take take them from me using that TNT. Are you ready? Any final words? Uh, That was my final word. That was it. Um, <laughs> um, his last word was um. And goodbye. <laughs> Wait, the lever. Oh, the diamonds. Oh, no, oh. I picked them back up again. <laughs> yeah. Those diamonds are not your diamonds. If you have those diamonds, those locks are yours. You have to hop okay, off lock them. them. Nope, I don't want him. We must. We they must be gone. We must kill them. So, do you want me to just dispose of these diamonds for you? I feel or like they're going to end up in your wallet. Yes. No, no, surely not. I'm so rich. <laughs> they need to be gone. They need to be completely gone. Gonificated. How? Uh, to- I thought the TNT was going to do it, but I, I, I sucked them back up again at the last second like the fool I am. I have a lo- lava cauldron behind my house. Gah. Grab them. Look at that. Warning hot, it yes. says even. Yes. Did I happen to hear a pressure plate get pressed a second ago? 
You I, may have stepped on one. I may have stepped on this particular pressure plate. Okay. Never? Okay. All I, right. Well, I never, mean... Never? <laughs> never again. All right? When I say tiptoe around over here, I don't mean go tripes around pressing buttons and stepping on pressure plates. <laughs> I, okay? Not only did I step on it, I like jumped on it with all my weight. <laughs> This is, I'm trying to be a good host, you know. You're a very good host. I'm sorry. Please throw my diamonds away in front of All me. All right. Here we go. One. One. Two. Oh. Three. I heard two sizzles. I must hear a third. All right. And let me get it in my inventory. And uh, three. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> my stupid mouth. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Get it out of here. I did it. Yes, I'm free. I'm for free. You're free. I'm free, and you freed me, and I thank you, and I love you, and I love you. This is it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your experience, and thank you for ridding me of the horrible curse beat ups. It was my pleasure. I I go. Goodbye. Goodbye. But well, I should probably get to the water. Say goodbye uh, later. Say bit. goodbye yeah. when you're closer to earshot. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that would be smart. Because <sighs> now it's a bit we awkward, have this isn't it? Conversation pa- what? that we have to have. What did you, did you want me to come back? Gone. Sorry. <laughs> no, <What>? no, no. <laughs> Get out of here. Bye, bye, B Dubs. And thanks to B Dubs's dark oak generosity, I got build in myself. And you can see loads of slabs here. To support it, I want it to be nice and rickety, but it's still being held up by those fence posts there. There's a couple of above kind of hanging from it, a couple below to kind of support it up. I've been eating a lot of chicken lately. I need some good support. And now I'm going through and adding some detail into the wall to make it look slightly less just boring and grey. It's now varied and grey, which is very nice to see. Um, dancing crazy blocks as well is always fun. But that leaves us with this. Beautiful. Oh, I almost fell off already. Okay, I was going to say, <laughs> I would never fall off this. It's more than thick enough, and then I go ahead and almost fall off. Almost immediately. But it's okay, because if you do fall, remember, there's going to be another layer there, another layer there, another layer down there. It's all fine. Plenty of layers, like a lasagna, to catch you when you fall. But yeah, I'm loving how this is going. Um, Obviously, we'll wrap it around here. When we kind of get to the, the pointy bit, it's going to kind of be a lot more floory, right? Because if this bit over here sticks out a couple of blocks, bam, already we have no hole in between them. But that's fine. That is okay. That works well in my book. Um, but now we've got all these layers. I've got to work out some verticality, right? We've sorted the horizontal out, but vertically, how am I getting up and down at the moment? I'm using stupid ladders. Oh, one over there, one here. Ladders, no thank you very much, my friends. I need to act actively do exercise with I need a way, a much more simpler way of going from this level to this level and vice versa from this level to this level. Again, down is a very easy thing to do, but getting back up again, I want to just be able to go bra and appear up at the top. And what things go bra? Well, elevators, of course. I would like to build myself an elevator. And remember, each of these sections are nine blocks high, so we're going to have to elevate ourselves nine blocks. So let's talk piston extenders. Piston, extend, it did it. One block, boom, easy, obviously. But now we've got the dual piston extender. Oh, two of them now, one and a two, and that went up two blocks. It went from here, no, from here, it was originally here, and then it went one and two blocks up. That's great. This does have a slight problem that when you try and retract it, uh, you kind of can't. You need like another lever here, and you need to do some like little doodad stuff. So you go one, two, that's nice and easy, but to retract, it's like one, two, two, one, uh, this one, this one, yeah. Something like that. It's a mess. Well, what I need to do, boom, is over here. A six block, a sextuple piston block extender. And I'll tell you now, I've already gone and figured it out. And it is impressive. Now, these things are notoriously difficult to do. Um, so I'm very surprised that I managed to actually get something working that I'm super proud of. But it's always, again, it's the, it's the retracting that's really difficult, not the extending. So extending, we've just got levers here at every other block. So we'll go one. And then we'll go up to here, two, up to here, three, four, and boom, like that. Why did I only count to four? There were six levers. <laughs> but originally, we were flush with this wooden block, and we have now gone all the way up to here. So how many is that? That block's gone one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Yeah, six pistons means six blocks up. But now, to get this back down again, we've got this, like, horrible, like, dance of now we need another one here and we need to do this. And then we've got to go down here and extend, but now we need another one there to pull that back. And then this one, and ah, uh, oh, it gets all disgusting and gross. Um, and pistons, remember, have a limit, a push limit of 12 blocks. So uh, instead of us standing on top of this gold thing, I thought, ha cha, we could stand on top of something. One, two, one, two, three, like that. Six blocks of falling sand. So now whenever that, that gold one gets retracted, everything else, I fell all the way down. Retract, extend, retract, extend, retract, and then everything else just comes down too. So when we get it back down to this main level, um, we should actually be able to have an incredibly flush elevator. Now I present to you all my extension. Again, this is the simpler bit. We've got the same old thing every other block. We've got an observer going up and a massive line of that that goes up as well. So when any thing gets uh, detected by this guy, you can see the red just goes up them in a nice order like that. At the moment, I've got an immovable block on top. So if we get rid of that, uh, doink, perfect. This sand is now ready to go up. Now I have I've, I've been saying about it being flush, right? And I have made it go up one block, because remember, we've got nine blocks to go up, and unfortunately, this can only do six. But I say can only do six. That That is impressive. This block here, um, and that second piston up, that is 12 blocks, which again, remember, that's the maximum this little bottom piston can push. So we can't actually go any higher than this, unfortunately. So if we get one higher block from this bit... Uh, we'll be two blocks shy of the next level, but we can do a little like dip down or something. It's still going to look fine and good, but let's go down, touch that redstone repeater and cause an update and we will see this block shoot into the sky. Got to be ready because it's going to be quick. It's going to be so quick. Three, two, one, bah. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I missed it because I was looking like this. Wow, look at it up there being all tall and six blocks up in the sky. It's beautiful. So that's our on state, and you can see the pistons have all separated themselves by one, and wow, wow, it looks bigger from up here, doesn't it? We've got our lovely elevator, so we would be stood on top of that, and we would have got shot up, well, gently elevated up into the sky, um, as needed. But now it's getting it back down again, um, and if we get the levers back out, this would be, and this is what I tried to do originally, a big old, like, workout. You, you label this number one, this number two, this number three, and so on, and you put levers down the whole thing. And then I got out my pen and paper, and I started to write down. One. Good. Uh, three. Good. Two. Yes. Five. Oops, no. Five. Okay. Uh... Uh, and, and so on and so forth, and it was a mess. It was a horrible mess, the list was huge. It was 21 different signals long, and we would have to program them all in with redstone lot wires and everything to go and hit each of those in order. That was not happening. That would have been humongous. That is why piston extenders are typically hard-ish to do. So I did what all good redstoners do, and got sad. But then I thought, hold on a minute, this thing is already just putting like a bunch of signals right into this Pist piston stuff like this one at the moment is doing nothing to that sand block and this one is doing a affecting this block and so forth I just thought you know what let, let's just try let's just be crazy here and just try spamming this a little bit so it's in its downwards position we will go boop da 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 da, -da nice and quickly on the way up that's great now it doesn't have to go down as quickly because we're never going to be riding it down we're just going to be falling down so then I just started spamming this one Oh, okay, the pistons do some weird stuff. Look at that, and then two. Okay, they're doing a bit more. Oh, it lowered it by one. Oh, great, three. What happens next? Oh, it lowered it by another one. Well, that's good something. Four. Okay, oh, oh, they're moving about a bit. All right, five. Interesting. Oh, it went down another one. This is progress. Six. Oh, pistons shuffling about, and another drop. Seven. And then I looked at this point, and I thought, wow. That is very nearly back to normal. We've just got these three pistons need to move down one, as well as this needs to move all down like two, I guess that would be. And you might be asking, what does eight do? Well, I'll show you. Uh, again, very nearly finished position. Eight. Oh, it literally resets it back to fully extended again, so there is no way. It's just in a loop now. It's stuck. This is back to like zero done again. Um, so yeah, we can't get any closer than what we did, but we can do them pretty quick. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. 
like that, and look, it gets it to that very nearly complete stage. So all we have to do now, this is on the left side, on the right side of this thing, if we just add a little bit of extra stuff and some more observers and things to fix it from this stage back to the beginning, then we are looking good. Although, unfortunately, this isn't so pretty. This is a bit ugly and squiggly, but it definitely does the job. So we're in our nearly finished position. We've got those three pistons to move down and these blocks to move down. Um, so what I've got over here is a little, little bit of stuff that reads from the top here. So instead of uh, this side going up, this side is reading downwards. Uh, first we pull out and go there, then later on we pull out and go into that lower one. Um, and then round the back here, we're also uh, pulling off of this line, going round to the bottom one, but also up and then back through. We're like threading the needle. You don't have to know about all that. That's fine. We put all these blocks back um, and then we're just going into that repeater and into that one at just the right timing for everything to work out. So if we flick this repeater up here, that's just to uh, initiate the right side of the redstone, we should see. Okay. Yeah. Everything's back to normal. And now there's only one piece missing of the puzzle, and that is cleverness. Uh-oh. Problem. Well, no, it's not. It's I can't be down here the whole time flicking this one, uh, flicking it seven more times as well afterwards, and then coming up here and flicking this one. No, 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 no. We need a circuit to do all of that for us, um, which is going to be tricky. However, there is something in the game that is, is just perfect. It works out perfectly. It's to do with a pulse extender, if you've ever seen one of them. So it's one of these things. Let me build it for you. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, like this. And if I get a lever, then if I put a quick little pulse in, ha, ha, like that. Oh, at the moment, it's a clock. Never mind. Wait, if we give that a longer thing and then we take it off. Now, this slowly wears down, wears down, wears down, wears down until it goes off. So basically, there's a signal going round and round. And every time it does, it loses one signal strength. So it has to go around 15 times um, to do that. Now, this is very interesting, right? Because if we attach an observer to this, such as, haha, which way around is it? Like this, now, I'll put a piston here to just show you it working when we turn this thing on. Firstly, it does a pulse when we turn it on, which is great for the extension. Um, and then when we turn it off, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It does fifteen because it went round fifteen times, so this went from fifteen all the way down to one, and this noticed every little bit of that, right? But if we remove this and we put a little bit of something like this on it instead, pop this here. Now, what we're doing is those one quick pulses, um, we're kind of like grouping them together with this, right? Because this is going so quickly that this, by the time this goes on and off, it's kind of alternating which one it takes. So pulse one and two get grouped into a single pulse. Pulse three and four get grouped into a single pulse. So let's try that. We go bum. Again, it does a single pulse to turn on. Again, perfect for what we need. And then when we turn it off, now we get one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh, we get eight. That's fine. That's because I'm powering it from this dust here. If we move the lever and put it here, it's already, instead of it starting at 15, it's going to start at 14, which then get a one pulse turning on and a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, and a seven, and it stops. So you, oh, you're beautiful. You are a seven tick pulser or an eight tick pulser, depending on what you want. But for our benefit, we want a four, uh, seven, uh, 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 words. I'm okay. I took a break. It's fine. <laughs> it all makes a lot more sense now to me, and I have actually finished it. I've got not only a button hooked up, but a potential pressure plate hooked up as well, and that goes down into the stuff down there. Um, so remember, all we're doing is just triggering this left side once, and then a little while later, we're triggering the left side seven times, followed by the right side once. That's pretty much all that's doing. It's not too bad, but... I'm ready for my first launch, if you are. And you know what? We're going to go with the button to begin with. So here I am, standing on this little bit. Let's see how quick this is. We push, and... Oh, da, 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 da. oh wow. <laughs> that was really weird. Look at us up here now. Okay, it's going to go back down again. But we were meant to have gotten off of it at this point. Okay, let's try like a... Let's try a running... Up. Da, 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 da. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. Okay. Oh, wait. We need to start putting some bridge stuff because we're going to have to have a bridge going from this side to that side for us to step out onto. So let's let's do it again. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 like that. Lovely. Excellent. Right. So that is where we could step out to. 
Now we just need like a nice bridge that kind of goes from here to there, like a, a slightly dangling bridge. Oh, oh yes, that is a good old dangle if I ever did see one looking nice and nice and dangly. <laughs> and then I've got a little bit more decoration going on here. We've got a pathway now leading over to here where I have actually made a second elevator exactly the same from this block all the way up to you just here for the third layer. So we can get from the very bottom to the very top now in the blink of an eye if you get something in that eye and it takes a little bit of time to kind of wipe it out and it's a bit painful and then you're kind of, it's kind of weeping a little bit and you know, it's horrible. Uh, you know, I think we should test this with somebody that knows their piston extenders and hopefully finds this all very cool. Let's invite Bumbo over and have a little bit of a race. But first we need to do a dig down of the day. For no reason in particular, I've got to talk very, very quickly for this one. So, uh, yeah, thank you all so very much, Fox and Vixen. Thank you very much for supporting this in particular dig down of the day. And... Ha. Huh. Oh, no. Ha. Huh. Dig. What is lava doing there? Oh, where was it? I've lost it. It was what, minus 107. Okay, oh, it's this way a bit more. That is why... Here it is. <laughs> That is why they don't tell you that you can dig straight down. That is why it's against the rules of this game. That must be like a little lava pool or something very high up. Well, I feel stupid. The man, the myth, the mumbo. Hello. <laughs> that, is quite the that is quite the introduction <laughs> I've just received there. Wow. Um, well, it's you, of course. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad. I'm not trying to think of a, a rhyme that I can... I can come up with you, but... Maybe one for I'm when just... we say goodbye. <laughs> oh, gosh, there's, there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, come on down. Come on down to my uh, my crevasse. I, I'm not sure what I'm calling yeah. it just yet, but uh, it's getting there. Wow. Um, can you this take a fall? Cool. Um, I can get. I can give a fall a go. Yeah, it's not, not too bad. Oh, You've got to brace, so bad. brace just, yourself. Yeah. I, wanted to, I wanted you to come over first off to just appreciate oh, okay. a little bit of redstone. Ouch! Mm -hmm. Um, okay, yep. a bit of redstone goodness, uh, but also I need I need to do a race. I need to see if what I've built is actually quicker than just a humble ladder. So <laughs> uh, this is always a bad idea with redstone contraptions, ZF. You should know this by now. <laughs> that, that there's always a much simpler alternative yes. to the redstone thing that you've done. But we have to take into account cool factor and cool factor only. Exactly. Oh yeah, I'm hope this is the most over-engineered, like unnecessary contraption of all time. But hey, okay, <laughs> it's cool. So then that's all that matters. So. so um, what we're going to be doing here, it? it's, it is this yeah. one, but before we go on, the furnace thing up there, that is our end goal. I'm going to run up the stairs, up the ladder, and you're going to go, mm -hmm. you're going to hit the pressure plate, you're going to stand on this block, then you're going to go yep. across the bridge, and in the corner over there, there's another pressure plate that you can stand on, on a bit of gravel, and you'll go up again to the next level. Right, okay. Okay? All right. Okay, you, this I think might, I got that. You might die, and you might get hurt. What? Are you ready to race? I think so. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck immediately. Okay. Oh, he's got. Oh, oh you're already beating me. Is... Oh, oh, I got stuck on the ladder. Where's the other one? Oh, oh no, no, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I win. All right, all right redo. I redo, win. redo, redo, redo. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Run, 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 run. Oh, he's already going okay. up. Oh no. Okay. Ah, uh, it's not even, not even close. Oh, there. look it's at not... that. Absolute uh, second. Uh, you beat me by seconds. Oh, at least, yeah. Valuable, minutes, maybe. valuable seconds. Yeah. This this is going to save me so many seconds in the day. Do you think we can ride it together? Is that safe? It's going to be close. This is going to be the most awkward elevator ascension. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to eat goes. chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm eating chicken in the elevator. That's, that's like... <laughs> that feels like that goes against the etiquette of an elevator, right? We did it. This one's going to be tough. Oh, it wasn't tough. Oh. That was smooth <laughs> as. So you've got a six piston extender underneath underneath the ground that's pushing up all of this, this yes. concrete and stuff. Am I yes. able to inspect? Absolutely, yeah. If we have a little look-see down here. Um... When I was doing piston extenders, I, I quickly learned that it's like, oh, you could just spam around on the on yeah. the extension circuit, and then they kind of sort themselves out. You just, and then you just have to do like a sequence of firings down through the other side. Exactly. And it does sort itself out. You've but invented this already, Mumbo. What am I doing here? Well, I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, the, but to be fair, to be fair, mine were horizontal. Vertical ones have the extra challenges 
there because there's there's many ways in which the piston can get powered. And oh yeah, gets, there's way more ways that it can break itself. So that's it. Is, Keep saying nice really, things really about my redstone. That's it. That's what I, I, I like, like to hear. I like it a lot. I think it's really nice. Well, I also <laughs> I heard you throw out the words. You also said it's quite simple. So clearly. It's clearly when someone starts delving into the worlds of yep. strange piston extenders and everything like that, you start adopting the vocabulary of, exactly. <laughs> of the people who built them. Right? Right? It's hard not to say it, right? It's hard not to it, say it's like, it. Oh, it's actually quite simple. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it really is, though, because it's like, I, I just, as soon as you figure out like that you can just reuse this simple stuff on the left-hand <laughs> side to get it almost back, it's like 90% of the way there, then it's just the yeah. last little bit to do it. And, yeah, well, I'll flick, yeah. it, flick it up. Oh. Da -da -da I love watching these things work. <laughs> and it all comes trickling back down. Awesome. Right, I, well, I'm that gonna Bubbo, now... don't use the ladder. <laughs> what are you doing? What an insult. Sorry. I'm sorry. That was an insult. <laughs> that was an insult. I'm really sorry, Zed. I don't mean... <laughs> oh. Look, I'm, I'm, loving, I'm loving the elevators. <laughs> these are great. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're oh, really good. Oh, they're perfect. It's user I'm error. Every, I'm, yeah, this is all my fault. This is nothing to do with the build. This is, this is purely me. I'm just going to hop back on the elevator. Yep. I have yep. to align myself very specifically. Exactly. It's a, nice. it's a tight squeeze. Um, yeah. Okay. Thanks that for coming over, Mumbo. Thanks for, for helping. I'm not sure. There you have it. Mumbo knows best. He knows that the cool factor is the only factor to worry about when it comes to things like this. In fact, can I do this even in this mode? I totally can. Oh, I'm walking all the wrong kind of ways. <laughs> I absolutely love this thing. When there are loads whoop, like that around our base, all over the place around this ravine, it's going to be so much fun to be running across, jumping down, doing all sorts of crazy things. Um, I think there might be some other ways to kind of get across the ravine too that we might play around with real soon. But that is is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so very much for watching, for liking, for commenting, and subscribing. I do appreciate the support, as always. Until the next episode, a good... A bye! <laughs>